Nope. We're going to somewhere else now. Oh! Tower's light in a strange world. And then another one. And then another one. And then another. And you were there. And you were there. Only the Moogle is looking at us. Guys, I don't feel well. I think I got food poisoning. It's that forest again. What happened? Cloud! Please tell me you're okay. I'm fine. Didn't know if it was Marco poisoning or the degradation, but I thought you were done for. Sorry to disappoint. Well, you can thank me for the ride later. Gotta find Aerith first. She told us that an ancient city lies just beyond these woods. And that the Cetra built a very special altar there. That's where she's headed, I'm sure of it. Problem is, Sephiroth stole the Black Materia. Meaning he could destroy the entire planet any minute. And Aerith said she's the only one who can stop him. Where is this place? No one knows but her. We got separated in the fog and... She's out there, all alone. Then we'd better hurry. That way. And how can you be so sure? Sometimes you just know. Sometimes you're being guided by whispers. So, Cloud, I heard something from Aerith. She said Sephiroth kicked the ever living crap out of you back in the Temple of the Ancients. You heard wrong. Didn't go down like that. Okay... Then how exactly did he get the materia from you? Uh... You don't always have to play the badass, you know? Alright, fine. You win. He beat the shit out of me and took the materia. It's my fault. It's kind of mine too. I should have been there for you, but I wasn't. Oh, Yuffie. Aww. Must have been some dream you were having. Judging by the way your eyes were twitching. Don't know if I'd call it a dream. Either way, something happened to you, didn't it? Yeah. Got sent to another world. Apparently, there's at least a few more than one. Huh. Is that right? I'd explain, but don't think I can. It's all right. Doubt I'd want to hear it anyway. Is it just me, or is there something weird about this mist? There is. Do you see them in it too? The whispers? Yeah. I'm afraid to say it, but if the whispers control fate, then does that mean we were destined to be separated from Aerith? Maybe. Uh, why'd I have to open my mouth? Yeah, this is the aspect that's got me very like... Huh... Because now, to me, it's like, a, a, from what I've just seen there with the different worlds, etc. 
Aerith remembers everything now. Like she she knows again about her fate. She knows what's coming and what has to happen in order to save the world. The fact she has to die. Which is interesting from this story aspect. But the bit that's intrigued me is the clear material which she gave to Cloud. My question is, is that going to be built from like like it could become something because as, as we've thought about before like materia is the memories and the knowledge of people before that's what it is the crystallized memories of that in a sphere shape yeah that's what materia is so the white materia having nothing in it was interesting so the knowledge and everything was somewhere else you needed to get that from somewhere else maybe Aerith built those worlds to protect those memories which is what made her lose her memory of like the events with the whispers and stuff like maybe that's why because she moved it to somewhere else and with it went the white materia and now she's got that back and the white materia but maybe this clear materia that exists can be filled up with memories of Aerith maybe there's some element to that so we need to keep an eye on where that materia is. Did I actually get it in my inventory? Oh, I can't look. Okay. Hey, Cloud. Promise me. If you start feeling sick or thinking weird thoughts, you'll let us know. Okay? Thoughts like... For example, stuff like thinking I'm not the real me. Sorry. You don't have to apologize, but I do want you to talk. To me or someone at least. All right. I can do that. Hmm. Cloud, I've apologized to everyone else, but not to you, so I'm sorry for giving the keystone to Shinra. I truly am. I just thought that since it was so dangerous, I'd rather something happened to one of them than to one of you. No need to explain yourself. <laughs> You're a good man, Cloud. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Oh, I'm still pretty pissed. Just got bigger fish to fry. Right, that makes sense. Still, I'll do what I can to help, and we'll fry those fish together. I was gonna say, you didn't exactly say you were forgiven. It's gonna take a lot more than that, mate. Just keep an eye on you, don't trust you, don't trust you. And here it comes. Oh! We still got the shell kind of thing going on. Alright, Vincent. The Grand Metropolis, where the ancients once gathered to pray, thought lost to time. Until today. The Forgotten Capital. This is it, right? You know, I think it is. Yeah, Gramps told me all about it when I was growing up. He called it the Forgotten Capital. Said it was the heart of Cetran civilization, but I never thought I'd see it. And this place screams fancy altar. Aerith's gotta be here. Well then, let's go get our girl. Oh, hello. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say those assholes are fixing to get in our way again. Look at them, though. Yeah. They're different. Don't belong to fate or the planet. They belong to Sephiroth. I'm waiting, Cloud. What is all this? It's the end. <laughs> Sephiroth. At this point? Hmm. 
Good, Aerith. Pray. It's upon us. The reunion. When worlds merge. When spite and sorrow are harvested. To feed the planet. I'm really having a fight with Sephiroth right here right now. the different types of whispers going around right now. Oh, well, I, I again have a lot of thoughts as to what's going on here. Because we got to remember the aspect of oddly enough Sephiroth needs Aerith to die. That's a key aspect as well because the whole point is Sephiroth wants to unleash Meteor to cause a massive scar on the planet where all the life stream will gather at. That's his purpose. That That's what he's doing. That's why he needs the black materia. Cause a massive hole in the side of the planet where the life stream is going to come together and heal the planet. And he'll stand in the middle and become a god. That's his point. That's his plan. For the life stream to converge on that point, it actually requires Aerith from what we've seen at the end of the original game. Holy just slows down Meteor, but the live stream coming together to destroy Meteor at the end of that game is still kind of what Sephiroth wanted for the live stream to converge at a single point. And it's Aerith that causes that from within the live stream, so... Huh. Why are these ones white? Dunno, but they sure don't like us. I'm wondering if it's going to be a case of are the white ones going to be the ones stopping us? Or are the black ones? Are either of them going to try and stop us? Heads up! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Hmm. Let's get assessed on these guys. Let's have a look what's going on. A unique arbiter of fate that opposes all who attempt to defy the inevitable. Intrinsically connected to the planet's destiny across all of time and space. So all of the destinies. All the different worlds we've seen. Okay. Hmm. Are they going to all say the same thing? Yeah. Those who attempt to defy the inevitable. Just depends what the inevitable is. Like, from whose aspect are we looking at this th from? Huh. Burn. I didn't read its stagger thing. I was too focused on like thinking about the story. Uh, when three or more whispers are on the field, they will conjure a ward and apply various buffs and debuffs to the party. After they conjure a ward, or when only two whispers remain, their cores will glow red and they will be pressured. Okay. Aha, so I want you. Because yeah, I was going to say this one was glowing red a second ago. So, focus thrust. Focus thrust. Focus thrust. There we go. Shit. Here it comes. Uh oh. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. The storm's coming. Let's do this. 
I feel like we need to scan the Black Whispers now. See what it says about them. With a great Gilgamesh, it is morphing time. It's morphing time. Let's get focus thrust on you. That should. Ooh. If it landed, it would have probably staggered you. You're done. You're all out. Focus thrust. Focus thrust. Oh. You what? You're out of luck. I had to go to my thanks. More. See, because they'd be wanting to help us, right? I'll be damned. Like we're back on the expressway. Aerith! How are we supposed to get through? Shouldn't be too hard. Just gotta say the magic words. Daddy's coming home real soon, honey. Oh, it's gonna want Cloud to go through. They'll let him through. Aerith. But only him. Aerith! 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 Cloud! No! She needs you. Yeah, that makes sense to me now. Just, just that aspect of they'd only let Cloud through, but based on what I remember from the original game, like, yeah, oh, it's a big, big orb thing. Let's smash these things. Ooh, the elevator thing. Beyond the wall. There it is down there. Where we're going. Yeah. Now, now just to be safe, because obviously I do remember things. I'm going, I'm going to make a save. Because after what happens here, there was a boss fight in the original game, so... Ah, well. <laughs> there we go. Final preparations. Eref is praying at the altar in hopes of putting a stop to Sephiroth's plans. There will be no chance to rest beyond this point. Make sure your party is prepared for whatever may come before you rush to her side. Oh, okay, then. I'm glad it warned me, at least. Alright then, well I, I think this would be a lovely place to, well, 
I see it lovely. I, I feel like this would be a significant place to end this part. Especially with what it just told us. So, I might change a few things up with the party before we go into the next part. Is that a chest there? Saw some shiny purple. It's like, no, 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 no. No, we're good. Right, so we'll see you in the next part when we head on over to the altar. Tell off for now.